Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're starting out with brows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate. And I'm using a Tarte Brow Brush for this. And I'm starting in the front of the brow, blending with the spool, and then going towards the back of the brow. I know you guys like when I start off with brows and not just skip over them, so I just figured I would do a little brow tutorial in the beginning. And I'm going to be concealing them with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm obsessed with this concealer right now um, for uh, underneath the brow bone because it's just so thin and so lightweight and doesn't make my eye look dry and it's just beautiful. I'm using a Brush Love brush for this. This is a flat liner brush. I don't think they have it anymore, but there's so many out there that you can find that are very similar. And I'm just blending this down. And then I'm going to also blend it out with my finger because your finger is the best blender. Now for the eyes, I'm priming with Painterly by MAC and I'm using a 286 brush from MAC as well. And then we're using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I feel like I had to whisper because it was so, just so gorgeous. And I'm obsessed with all of the colors. They're so fun looking and... Oh, I'm using Eden for the crease color for a transition with an M504 brush from Morphe. And I'm just twirling this brush around on my eye to make sure that basically the whole eye is covered, especially the crease area. I just wanted this to be really blended out to be the first color that we use. And then I'm using Amber with a 221 by MAC to define the crease a little bit more. I wasn't sure what exactly I was going to do when I started this look. I thought maybe I was going to go for a halo eye because that's like my favorite thing to do. But I decided to just, you know, go with the flow and see where it took me. I started with Saffron with the same brush and I thought I was going to keep it in the outer V but then I started to see how beautiful of a burgundy it was. It was like a cranberry burgundy. Nothing too dark, nothing too you know, bright, it was just beautiful. So I decided to actually blend this all the way towards the inner corner of the eye and use it all over the lid. This is kind of what I wanted the color in the Anastasia palette to be. Forgot the color name, but I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Now I'm taking Cosmo and first I used my finger, but then I realized the brush was a lot better to apply with and it kept it nice and neat. And I'm putting this on the inner corner. How beautiful this glitter is, oh my God. It was my favorite color in the palette. The first one I saw, the first one I had a touch. For lashes, I'm using Toots by Gigi Bell Lashes. My lash line, these are 15% off right now, you guys. So definitely grab them while they are on sale for a limited time. I'm using the Benefit Roller Lash, which I'm not sure if I really like yet. I feel like I just still have to keep using it to feel, you know, completely satisfied. I'm going to pop these on with the Huda Beauty Lash Glue, my favorite lash glue right now. And if you guys wanted to know how I do those Snapchat videos, this is how I do them right here. Moving on to face, I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I'm going to put that all over. just felt like changing up the moisturizer and Maracuja Oil is really good. So why not switch it up? You guys see that huge stack of boxes? Yeah, it's got to be opened. It's, it's about to fall. <laughs> really. Seriously. It's scary. But anyways, I'm using the Poreless Primer by Tarte. And then I'm going to use the Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is the first time I've ever used this ever on camera, on anywhere, on me. It is so yellow. I picked a super yellow color, hoping for the best because I guess I was a little bit tanner when I picked this color. So I just went for it with the 3D HD Kabuki brush and then I realized I looked like I had jaundice. So I had to mix it with another foundation, but I do really like the finish of the foundation um, and it's just, it felt really good, it lasted really well, and I finally got my actual color so I, I won't be looking like a weird alien person, so yeah. But I like started laughing at myself because I was like, this is so yellow, it's like I'm green, that's, it was crazy. So I decided to use the Born This Way and uh, just put a little bit on there just to kind of neutralize myself a little bit so I didn't look too yellow. Um, but I still wanted to kind of test out the Hourglass Foundation so I didn't go too crazy with that. 
and I just really love the finish so I'm excited to use my actual color and you know not look weird for concealer I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in medium and I'm going to highlight my nose my my under eye my chin underneath the cheekbones as well and just kind of give some dimension to my face I'm bringing out this old guy right here. This is the old Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge. I'm not sure if they have it anymore. I believe they changed it, but I will let you guys know in the bottom, you know, description there if there is one. If not, I'll link the new one. But this was my OG blender. I really love this blender because it's so dense, and I don't know why I like denser products to blend with. I feel like it just gives you more coverage. Anyways. I'm gonna set the under eye with Kat Von D's Lock It Translucent Powder. See how much, like, it just picks up the product and really places it there. See just how smooth it looks. I just love it. So I missed this blender, so I was excited to use it again. And then to bronze it up, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with the F23 brush from Sigma. I'm just bronzing up all of the areas that need to be bronzed, especially the cheek area and the jaw. For blush, I'm using this Tipsy Blush by Tarte. I love their Amazonian clay blushes. They last so long and they're just so beautiful. I'm wiping away any excess powder because I don't like to bake for too long. And then I'm gonna do the under eye. I'm using Amber and Oud, I think it was called. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I couldn't really see the name. And I'm just using a, I believe an E15 to smudge that under. And then I'm gonna put some more roller lash mascara on those little lashes. For the inner corner, I'm using Celestial, and this was just so gorgeous on the inner corner. Oh my god, guys. Now for highlight, I'm using the Summer 3D Highlight by Huda Beauty. And I'm using the cream first to kind of set down a nice base for the highlight. That was in Saint Tropez. And then I'm using all of those highlighters together and just mixing them all and then just piling it on. I like that you can use Saint Tropez by itself if you want it to just, you know, be nice and natural. And you can actually get away with it being natural with the powders as well. Really like that. I used the pink highlighter to put on my brow bone because I just love the way that looked. And for lips, I'm using the Huda Beauty Venus Liquid Matte Lipstick. I'm just putting that all over the lips. And then I just kind of wanted to jazz it up a little bit more. So I took the Jouer Rose Gold Lip Topper and just put that on there. Because, you know, we have sparkly eyes. Why not have sparkly lips? And that just looks so gorgeous on. So that is the look you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please comment below and thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. I don't know if I say that enough and I really appreciate all of you. If you have any suggestions on what to do next, comment below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!